What's up everybody? We're driving through Little Haiti, La Pequeña Haiti, Haitian. What's up? Little Haiti, Little Haiti. You know, Little Haiti. This is a predominantly Haitian neighborhood that is somehow being gentrified. Don't ask me how, don't ask me whose idea it was to gentrify this place, but it is being gentrified. Here, this is a little Haitian restaurant right here. Chef Creole. They got some good, I mean good, Haitian grills. So if you like uh, to try some good Haitian food, and then that would be the place to do it. Again, this is Little Haiti. So if you want to get your hands on some good Haitian food, try that little place out right there and try Haitian food. I, I would order some griot. Griot is uh, fried pork chunks. Haitian food is very good. I like it. It's kind of like spicy. It's kind of like Cuban food, but spicy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's how I would describe it. So. Oh, man, people here are like, it's almost like they're purposely trying to get hit by a car. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like they just want to call for one pain. It's just, they're on the fence about how hard they're going to get hit by a car. They're like, ah, should I do this? But little Haiti, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's really hood out here. It's always been hood, but somehow they're gentrifying this place. And, uh tourism has become more of a thing out here but it, it's still a little Haiti I mean anyways it's still a little Haiti so I'm just gonna go for a freestyle drive through this neighborhood I don't know what we're gonna see I don't know if it's gonna be dead or alive we're just freestyling it here I just know that uh, there's been a lot of gentrification in this neighborhood <clears throat> It's got some rough spots and it's got some spots that are being gentrified so um, at night I know it gets a little crazy at times mm -hmm. but uh, nonetheless it's still a little Haiti I listen to compa music. Mm -hmm. Listen to compa music. The, the traditional music of Haiti compa. Good stuff too. If you don't, if you never listen to Haitian music, mm -hmm. I like my compa. T Vice is one of the most. Uh, kind of, he does a lot of English songs, kind of targeting an English audience in a sense. T Vice. He does uh, Haitian compa. K-O-M-P-A, compa. It's got a lot of uh, thumbs. It's got um, a tempo very similar to Spanish reggae. Uh, with the biggest differences being uh, there's a lot more thumbs. And the hi-hat is... Thumbs, hi hats, kick, trumpets, crazy guitar, doing some bachata. Da 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 Repetitive guitar, man. I love compa music from Haiti. It's good stuff. It's kind of like bachata cross with merengue. You know what I mean? Dun, 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 dun. It's a very repetitive guitar melody. In fact, I want to listen to compa music right now. Just talking about it. All right, we're in, we're almost to Little River. What street are we on? Seventy sixty six. Little River starts at seventy first, so we're almost to Little River. The mail. The mail. Oh, this looks like real little Haiti back in there. If I, want, I should have turned the other way. It looks like real little Haiti uh, back in there. But uh, yeah, Little Haiti. I mean. There's a lot of Haitians in Miami. Uh, Miami, 
a, a vast number of the, of, the, of the black people here are Haitian descent. Haitians uh, share an island with the Dominican Republic. It's a very poor country, we know that. And uh, a lot of the Haitians come here and they're hustlers, they're go-getters. And they are on their way to making fortunes for generations. Others come here and they forget to realize that they're no longer in Haiti and that the way you lived in Haiti is not the way you live here and they fare very badly. They get here and it's way better than Haiti so they automatically assume it's just because they're here they're already better off in Haiti. But see that's because they're comparing their life to what they had before so in, in, from their perspective oh I'm doing better I was in Haiti. I'm in Miami now I got it made but no you don't have it made. You. You're, you're paying rent and living in the, in the hood. You need to have your own place and you have savings. But that's not the way... Um, Did you, you know, see that? What, the way that car drove? No, that guy. What about him? It was polite. Polite. Oh. Said, he waved, thank you. Oh, a lot of these Haitian people are like humans. They're, they're on their honor system. That wasn't Haitian. Oh. These apartments here are really rough. Yeah. Nah, man, that red tide killed me, man. These apartments are rough as crap. Mm, my sinuses have been bad. I don't get why I got so sick coming to Florida. Mm -hmm. It's that red tide in Naples, no doubt about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you uh, don't know any Creole, I don't know a whole lot, just a few words. Mm -hmm. I know, uh, you know, sans passer, na boule, everybody knows that, probably. Yeah. And then I know, volé, which means you're a thief. Oh, oh, you volé? That's, oh, crap, you're a thief? You know? <laughs> and uh, then there's, uh, wow, there's a lot of people hanging out here. What happened? It's just a hangout? Yeah. Man, I would love to have, I think the bus broke. Well, something going on in there. Mm -hmm. Something unusual is going on yeah. there, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll roll through one more time and see if we can catch a glimpse. That, there's something about to pop off there. <coughs> Maybe the bus broke and the bus like, help! <laughs> like, yeah. I take the wheels off it. <laughs> but anyways, you know, a lot of times a lot of Haitian people are just like, you know, like, volé! That means, you thief! And they're like, oh, oh, oh papa, you volé! And that's like, well, you, you're definitely a thief, you know? Uh, when, when they speak Creole, um, it's, you know, the intonation of, of you know, it's, it's almost like the tone that they give their voice. You're like, oh, what? You volé? You know, like, it's so much more of, you know, the tone of the voice many times will say a lot more than what the person's actually saying. You know, so you got to pay real close attention to the tone, you know. And they're very expressive. When they, when, when Haitian, if you hear Haitian people talking with each other, there's a lot of expressions. You know, there's uh ohs and what? Uh uh. And the, uh, you know, a lot of that. You know, uh uh. A lot of that. And uh, so it seems like sometimes it's a very heated conversation. It sounds like a heated conversation. If you've never heard somebody speak Creole, it sounds like a very heated conversation. But in reality, there ain't much to the conversation. It's just a normal conversation, but that's just the way they they carry their their conversation about. You know what I mean? That's just the way they do it. They kind of even little hated it. And seems. Cubans are like that too. Yeah. Like when no I doubt. first was around your family, I was like, Why are they arguing? Why are they arguing? <laughs> even like when I talk to my dad now, mm -hmm. you're like, Why were you guys mad? Like, I'll be talking to my dad on the phone. I'll be talking to dad on the phone. How's yeah. that GoPro going? Kill the GoPro. I'll be talking to Dad on the phone a lot of times, and what the this guy? What is guys walking towards us? It, it, hey, it's sometimes how know. you say things; it makes it sound really yeah. angry. Like me and Dad are talking to each other, and you'll be like, "Jose, why are you fighting with your dad so much?" And I'll be like, "We're not <laughs> fighting; we're actually agreeing with each other." You know, but it sounds like we're mad at each other, but really we're just both expressing emotion yeah. 
about the same subject. Like, because when you talk to me in that same tone, <laughs> you're usually angry, and then like the application yeah. in Spanish. Yeah, huge group of people. Yeah. No, nah, it's not like that. It's more yeah. like okay, just to give you an idea. Like sometimes, that's a huge mm -hmm. group of people. They're just off the side of the camera. Sometimes, like you'll think that we're arguing, and it's like he'll say something like. I hate hot dogs. And I'll be like, I hate hot dogs too. And he'll be like, hot dogs are horrible. Like, hot dogs are crap, man. And he'll be like, who can eat that garbage? I'm like, I crap, I sure as crap wouldn't want to eat that. And you're thinking, man, we're arguing with each other, right? But we're not really arguing with each other. We're both agreeing that hot dogs suck. But since you don't understand what they're listening to, you know, if you're listening to it as an outsider, you might be thinking, wow, they're arguing with each other. But yeah. not the case. So Haitians are in the same way. Haitians, when they're yeah. talking to each other, <laughs> there's a lot of expression going on, you know. There's a lot of expressions going on when Haitians are talking to each other. Mm -hmm. So you might be like, "Oh man, they're angry at each other," and they're not, mm -hmm. you know. And and Cubans were kind of like the same way too. It's just like you said, but mm -hmm. Haitians are much more. Oh, uh, they're because Cubans are using complete sentences and arguments, and yeah. there's always somebody who like dominates the conversation to a yeah. large extent. But Haitians, they go back and they forth. They get passionate. Yeah, they get back and forth at it. So it seems like they're really arguing, but they're not. They might just be like, I went to the flea market the other day. Uh-huh. And I saw some shoes. Oh, for real? Yeah, I saw some shoes. You know, like, yeah. it's a normal conversation. But if you're listening to it, you don't understand Creole. You don't pilot Creole. Yeah, it's like. You're like, oh, oh you crazy. It's like the shoes cost a dollar. <clears throat> oh, 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 you crazy. Like, hearing that. Think English, oh. you're like, oh, okay, oh. they're insulting each other, but no, no they're just totally talking cool. about something. Yeah. yeah, listen to Haitians talk if you've never heard them talk, it, it sounds. Yeah. I mean, when the Haitians fighting for real. Oh, it's scary. You'll know when they're fighting because yeah. if they are angry, they're already like, what? Screaming. Yeah. And, and then the hand motions, and everybody backs off away from the circle, and then you're like, oh, vole. Oh, Paris. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a group of people right there. There's quite a few of them. That's a big group of people. Like mm -hmm. 10 of them. Okay. One of those, one of those, yeah, one of those store together. Okay. Cousins. And, I don't remember when we used to be like that. Not no more. What happened? America happened. You lose your culture. Mm -hmm. We used to all be like that. Man. When we came from Cuba, it was all of us together. Then we had kids, and one of them, the wife won't let them go out. You know, the other one, when the wife won't let them go out, the other one, you know, has to work the next day in the morning. The other one has to go see his mistress. The next thing you know, nobody's, nobody can get together anymore. That's not you, right? Me? No, I'm always with him. <laughs> I manage my time wisely. They had to bring out the security? Sure, because the truck broke, yeah. Oh, yeah, they definitely got to bring out security for that. That truck breaking down there? Mm -hmm. They definitely got to bring security. Somebody might be like, oh, oh, man, I got it. And boom, pops off. Yeah, who knows? They really do got to bring out security for a broken yeah. bus. Mm -hmm. Now they got a U-Haul there. And we got the yeah. police. Yeah, yeah. They got cops, too? Yeah. Yeah, they got security. That bus breaking. Oh, it could have been a box in it, too. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Could have been anything, but yeah, they do have, to have security for something. It doesn't seem like it requires security, but it probably does. Yeah. Somebody might get angry about missing a bus or something. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You'd think being from Haiti, they'd be used to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm Cuban and I'm used to it. They're gonna get across the street. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go across or not? They need to go back to New York, man. We ain't no rush in Florida. They need to go back to New York for real, man. You just made it. I just made their day. I really did make their day. Yeah. <coughs> but anyways, I love Haitian people. That's one thing I miss about being up there is I miss yeah. Haitian people. They, they're so for life. You know, like the conversations. You yeah. know, after a while... Haitian people are so similar to Cuban people that you almost feel like you're related to them. Yeah. 
And my cousin was telling me that he almost got me in the Haitian family, but they usually don't. Never mind. That's something that you get you in a lot of trouble. <laughs> you know, they almost no, no, no. I think this is a little weird, but I almost turn around. Um, two and. Let's go this one. I have no idea. Let's put some videos in downtown Miami. Yeah. I don't want to run back out. It's still grimy out here. Mm -hmm. It's rough out here. Anyways, I, I do miss Haitian people a lot. Yeah. It's weird how I miss Haitian people. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, like African American people are nice, but they're so different than Haitians. Yeah. <clears throat> Haitian is like a different breed of it's people. It's a different breed. They're yeah. just their own individual yeah. thing, man. Let's say old Haitian people, you know what I mean? I, I do miss Haitians a lot. Man, this is grimy out here, yo. What is this? This is grimy. So much life, like there's still, it's, what's that, Monday night? Yeah. It's all, people are still working, working on cars, doing business, mm -hmm. and hanging out. You know, so Miami's got a lot of life. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is nothing like Montgomery. Mm -hmm. Montgomery's a ghost town. It really is it's a ghost It's a gas town. station, but it has a Hey, we gotta get gas, we gotta get gas. Like we've right been, now? Yeah, we've been driving around without gas, man. Are you serious? Yeah, we've been driving around without gas. Let me see if I can get in this little gas station right here. It's only got like two pumps, but let me see if I can get behind this one. I don't like to normally get gas in Norfolk, Miami, but we'll be all right. Mm -hmm. We'll be all right. 